We have arrived at Machana Gate. It is our starting point. Keep hydrated. Pole, pole. That's was cold day yesterday. We have another beautiful morning. We're doing the Barranco Wall. Pretty sure that's the path down and um, off to camp for day four. Second. You still have a good morning. Morning. It is day five, the beginning of our longest day ever in life. It's um, it's gonna be about a thirty-hour-ish day. Yeah. They say try and get some sleep tonight before we summit, but we'll see how that goes. Yes. But first off, we have about a three-hour hike this morning. Not too hard to get to base camp. Base camp for the summit barfu hut mm -hmm. that is the plan this morning so um <laughs> it's about 4600 meters so we'll climb about six to seven hundred meters up yeah which we'll is get nice. there for hot lunch and then uh, we'll explain to you a little bit more about what's going to happen for the summit Arrived at base camp. Good afternoon. Barafu camp. Barafu hut. But we're staying in camps. We are staying Tents. in camps. Tents. Right there. There we go. This is our tent right that here. One. Yep. The nice view of Moenzi Peak. Oh, yeah. Moenzi is right over there. That's Moenzi Peak. Mm -hmm. One of the peaks of Kilimanjaro. Yep. You don't climb it though. You're not but allowed We're not to. going that way. We're mm -hmm. going up that way. Yes. Tonight literally at midnight in 12 hours time we will be hiking up that uh that peak in the middle of the night yes fresh cucumber soup fresh veggies we got some chips coming we got some potatoes coming it's a feast and it's probably even more coming oh my god soups are like the best soups ever i think this is going to be our last update before we start our summit attempt. It is currently almost 5.30, which means it's dinner time. And after dinner, we are going to go back to bed. We've just been like on and off sleeping. Not sleeping. <laughs> attempting to sleep here. Just laying down and resting. Yeah, because it's so hot and then cold and, and then noisy. hot. And noisy. Yeah, because there's so many people at base camp. It's... And it's the middle of the day, so. Yeah. So we have our final health check. Mm -hmm. At 5.20, yes. we'll test our blood oxygen and our pulse. Mm -hmm. We've been testing it this whole time. Every morning sure. and every evening. Yeah, it's something you have to do. They, and they ask you a bunch of questions like, are you sleeping well? Do you have a headache? Are you dizzy? They're How's your appetite? How's your appetite? They're just looking for like signs of altitude sickness. And it really helps keeping a record like that on like every single day, every morning, every evening, because then they can see like a a trend if you are getting worse and worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like headaches is the biggest one that most people are kind of yeah. an upset stomach and a wee bit of gas. But after dinner, we are going to attempt to try and get some sleep because at 10.30 p.m. we're waking up again and 11.30 p.m. we are starting our summit track. We put on all of our layers because it's going to be like minus 5 to minus 15 with the wind chill up yeah. at the summit and we're gonna go pole 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 no he said super pole pole <laughs> super pole pole which is very very slowly we're gonna hike for five to six hours until we reach stella point which is our first real point i don't know we'll reach at like 5 30 in the morning or something like that maybe Give or take, yeah. And then, and then it's another 45 minutes to an hour from Stella Point yeah, to summit. Uhuru Peak. And we should be there for sunrise. Well, I think we should be at Stella Point for sunrise, and then we should have light-ish yeah. for Uhuru Peak. It all depends on our pace. We made it this far, so we might as well make it to the top. We're going to try. We're going to try our best. We're going to try our best to make it to the top. 
Oh, and... I've already drank four liters of water today. I know, I have two, and we packed way too many. <laughs> way too many hand warmers. Like, this might have been a little overkill. Yeah. This is going nowhere. We need to get some sleep. to sell a point. The hardest part is done and from here on it's about 45 minutes to peak our final destination and it should be just a nice easy crater walk. It flattens out from here <coughs> so it should be a lot easier. <coughs> We've been going for about six hours so far. Yeah. Oh, man. How are you feeling? Cold. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. 